those of you who are watching out there on the worldwide web of YouTube. My name is Minister Tom for Mister, and I am going to be, before you briefly, dealing with the statement of faith. Amen. Yes. Let us enter into prayer. Father, we give you glory and we give you honor. We give you praise. We give you thanksgiving on tonight. Yes. Father, we thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to stand before your people. Yes. Father, I ask, oh God, that you allow me to decrease, that you may increase in me. Yes, Father, God. let the words of my mouth, oh God, and the meditation upon my heart be acceptable in your sight. Yes, in God. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Ha! When I was given this topic, um, I was so excited. I, 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 I love faith. I, I love what faith can do. I love the power that's in faith. I love everything about faith. I love to hear myself say the word faith. It just does something to my inside. You know, some people, you know, you, you say hallelujah is the highest praise and you get that, that joy, that surge of energy. I say faith and it's like, ooh. <laughs> Because faith makes things happen. Amen. I have a, 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 a illustration that I, I want to I wanna do. And I need two volunteers. Minister Fitz, if you can, if you can come and assist me. And um, Minister Aaron, can I please use you? I know you, you know, you're snacking right now. But can I, can I use you real quick? The statement of faith is dealing with what you stand for. So you're starting your ministries and you are, are formulating, even joining a ministry. You need to know what that statement of faith is. So I want you to go ahead, Minister Fitzen, and, and walk. Erin, you're going to follow Minister Fitz. Now, Minister Fitz may or may not have an idea of where he's going. But somebody is following him. Somebody is trying to mimic him. And you know that old saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything? Yes. Aaron looks a little confused right now, doesn't he? Yes. He's trying to keep walking. He's trying to do what Minister Fitz does. And, but yet he has no idea where Minister Fitz is going. Right. But yet he's trying to follow. Right. Now I'm sure before he started out, he had some idea of where he wanted to go. And he thought Minister Fitz would be the one to actually take him there. Right. But how can he when... He don't know where Minister Fitz is going. Right. He has no clue of where Minister Fitz is going, but yet he's trying to follow. Right. Amen. Amen. Can you give them a hand for me? Thank you so much. Good job. Good job. This is why it is key to have a statement of faith for your ministry. Amen. People need to know what you believe in and where you are going. And your statement of faith not only tells them or gives them an idea of where you're going, but it also gives them foundational help on how you plan to execute it. What strength is gonna help you get there? Right. Let me show you something else. I brought these t-shirts. Here's one. This is a secular t-shirt. has nothing to do with ministry. But, it's a little faded. But it says, a vote for Gullery is a vote against the system. Now, reading this, you get an idea of where they're going and where they're trying to take you to, right? Because they're wanting you to follow them behind their statement. Right. Amen? Amen. Here's 
another one. This is a ministry-based t-shirt. And the ministry is, the name of the ministry is Behind the Veil Ministries. What they stand for is pray what you mean and receive what you say. So now, if you are wanting to join this ministry, you have an idea of where they might take you and how they might get you there because of their statement. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, what exactly is a statement? So I looked at statement and it says for Wikipedia, it says that a statement is in logic, a statement is either a meaningful decorative sentence that is either true or false, or B, what is asserted or made by the use of a declarative sentence. Another one is, um, a statement is a sentence having a form that is typically used to express such illusionary acts such as an English declarative sentence. A definite or clear expression of something in speech or writing, as in do you agree with this statement. An official account of facts, views, plans, or etc. one for release to the media. So we know that a statement is saying, it's declaring something, it's declarative. Amen, can we all agree? Amen. So it's declaring something. But what is it declaring? What is your statement declaring? Your statement of faith is declaring faith. Well, what is faith? Faith is a belief. What God immediately took me to, and I said, well, you know, so do I do it as a definition of faith, or how do you want me to explain it? He said, no, take them to Hebrews, because that's what I want them to understand. And Hebrews 11 and 1 says, faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. Through their faith, the people in the days of old earned a good reputation. Amen. Through their faith. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, And it is impossible to please God without faith. <laughs> Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Now, in Hebrews 1 and Hebrews I mean, Hebrews 11 and 1 and Hebrews 11 and 6, it brings us back to a sobriety that we can't do anything in ministry without faith. Right. So faith has to get behind what your statement is. Faith has to get behind what you're declaring. Because you can declare all day, but if you don't put no power behind it, you just got an empty sentence. Yeah. So faith becomes that exclamation point, hallelujah, behind that sentence instead of your period. So that period is, 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 at the end of your statement, that period is just a pause. It, it can be just a break. It can be just a breather. But that exclamation point says, pow! Something happened right there. Mm -hmm. Something just took place. And we need to look for what just took place. <coughs> now, when you're joining a ministry, you want to know, what is it that I'm joining? What is it that I'm combining? Or what is it that I'm believing in with? What am I standing and declaring with you? Because 
you know, a lot of times we join, we join ministries, we join groups, we join, you know, even in the secular world, we join organizations really not knowing what they stand for, but yet we're declaring what they believe in. But how can you declare, how can you help make something happen when you don't even know what they believe in? Right. You could be believing in something totally contrary to what they stand for. Right. You declare and you declare and you declare and you try to figure out why nothing is happening the way that you're declaring it, but you are not in agreement with the same thing that they are because you're not you're not even knowing what it is that they believe in. Amen. Right. A lot of times um, in ministries, even when you're going through something, when you start going through your tests and your trials and, and, and you don't know, you know, what tomorrow is going to bring, you don't even know what the next hour is going to bring, when you know that statement of faith of that ministry that you join, that helps give you extra power because if they created the statement of faith for their ministry, that means that they know that these things work. That means they tested. Them. They mean they tried them. They mean they've gone through the fire and brimstone with these statements of faith. So when you girdle up and you say, okay, I got, I'm coming here and I'm joining this ministry and I got help. I need extra help right now and I got this help. Well, what is going to help me? Well, I know that they made it here because they started declaring and professing these statements of faith. They started declaring these things over their situation, so they added that to their situation, and so it gave that exclamation point to the things that happened to them, so, hey, it'll work for me. So now you know what it is that you're joining. You know that not only are you joining and, and, and adding your strength and power to what they're declaring, but their strength and power is also being added and backing up what you're declaring because you are declaring the same thing. The other thing that God had brought me to was the, uh, the Tower of Babel and the oneness that they had. They had a faith and a belief that they could reach heaven by building this tower. In that statement of faith and, 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 and girdling up and, and coming into a place of oneness, there is such a power that is added to that, that oneness that it makes everything possible. It makes everything possible because God sits up high and he looks at your faith and he says, wow, you believe I can do that? That makes him get up off the throne and stick his chest out and say, woo, bam, let me make that happen. Woo, bam, let me make that happen because you're asking him to show up and show out when you start declaring those statements of faith. That's why he said it's impossible to please me without faith because what pleases him is to know that you honor him. What pleases him is to know that you believe in him. Not that he just that he said he's going to do it, but the fact that he will do it. That knowing, that assurance, that declaring, and that standing firm on knowing that he said it, it's already happened. Mm -hmm. So that, that unity, that power in unity makes it happen. Amen? Amen. Um, one of the other things that... that, um, that I was thinking about um, dealing with the statement of faith is here with Dr. Vicki, joining up with Dr. Vicki. When I came into this ministry, well, I had already had my own background. I had already done my own studies and, and had spent time with the Lord and with the ministry that I was wanting to develop. I had already done my statement of faith. So, in my statements of faith, I was tickled pink to find that what I did was I created my statements of faith and I mixed, I mixed it with my doctrinal foundation. So, I, don't, I didn't separate the two. I made them be one because this is, this is my doctrinal foundation because it all came from the Bible, but it's also my statement of faith. So, I made it be my two-way sport. Amen? Amen? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> But as I was going through the book and I was reading, like the scripture say, and all you'll get and get it and understand. Hallelujah. It. I wanted to understand what SOV stood for. Here's a ministry that's called Saints of Value. 
So surely there should be something in the statement of faith that backs up what a saint of value really is, what a saint of value looks like, what a, how should a saint of value believe? So I started reading through the saints of value statement of faith, and to all of you out there that are looking on YouTube that have declared that you have joined up with SOV, that you are part joint heir to SOV, I challenge you, do you know the SOV statement of faith? Do you follow SOV statement of faith? Do you practice SOV statement of faith? Is SOV statement of faith anything mirrored a reflection of what your statement of faith is for your ministry? Huh? I challenge that. I'm going to go through the statements of faith for Saints of Value Ministries. The first one says, and for those of you who have your books, we're on page 319. So if you want to follow along with your books, page 319. And if you don't have it, I bid you to get it so that you can have that within your spirit, what SOV really stands for. It's important. You want, you want power added to your ministry? Well, here it is. Add this to what you believe in. If it's not already there. Saints of Values Statement of Faith. We believe in the triune God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We believe that the one true God has revealed himself as the eternally self-existent I am and that he is the creator of heaven and earth. We believe that Jesus Christ is the redeemer of mankind and was manifested in the flesh. We believe in the deity of Jesus Christ, that he is the true God and true man. We believe that the scriptures are the ultimate authority of the revelation of God, and that the Old and New Testaments are inspired and followable and reveal the revealed will of God, and the books of the Testament constitute the only rule of faith and practice. We believe that no one can enter the kingdom of heaven unless they are born again. And that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We also believe that our redemption was accomplished by the cross and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We believe that we receive salvation by grace through faith and believing in the heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. And that publicly confessing Lord Jesus Christ results in man's salvation. We believe that the church is the body of Christ and consists of all of those who have received Jesus in their, as their personal Savior. We believe in the anatomy of the local church as an independent ent entity with regard to matters of government, health, and discipline, and that every believer should belong to and be associated with a local New Testament church and be subject to pastoral guidance and care. Now, when I was going through that, sorry, there's two more on the back, but when I was going through that, I stopped and I started looking at my statement of faith. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hey, that sounds familiar. Wait a minute. Hold up. We have the same faith. Hallelujah. I'm not showing up with something that's contrary to what I believe. So all of the power that I was looking for to aid me, to help me get to my next level, I'm like, hey man, that there's somebody that has already broke ground. There's a trailblazer who has the same faith as I. So that means that now I can girl up, up under her wings and continue to fly until I get to my next level because we have the same faith. The unity in the faith and the beliefs of what we are declaring. Amen? Amen. The last two for saints and value statements, statements of faith is we believe in the infilling of the Holy Ghost with the initial physical sign of speaking in other tongues as a fulfillment of the Father's power in us. We believe in water baptism, observance of the Lord's Supper, physical res resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, and there shall be a bodily resurrection of the just and unjust. Now that's saints of values.
statement of faith. I'm not going to go through all of mine, but I'm just going to hit a few. So as I was going through here, am I, how, how am I doing on time? I don't know. Okay, amen. We're going to wrap this up in five minutes because I learned how to do that. Amen. <laughs> here at Saints of Value Ministries. Plug, plug, yeah, I'm plugging. <laughs> Hey, it worked for me. It took me to a whole nother level, and, and, and I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. Amen. Uh, one of my one of my statements of faith is we believe that the, the, the this was for my dance ministry, and the, the and my dance ministry is um, my special order dance ministry. Um, one of my statements of faith is we believe that all scriptures. And its original form was inspired by God without error. It holds God's final authority for all principles of faith and conduct. Found in 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. See, I put my scriptures right there. I want you to be able to not only know what my statement of faith is, but I want you to be able to go and read it for yourself. You don't have to just take my word for it. This is what he said, and this is what I'm getting behind. Amen. We believe that the eternal Godhead is revealed as God existing in three persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit being one in union, yet clearly distinguishable, found in Matthew 28 and 19. We believe in creation, test and fall of man, as recorded in Genesis, and his total spiritual corruption and his his inability to accomplish divine righteousness, found in Romans 5 and 12. So in that, when I was going through there, I was like, oh my God, this they mirror each other. They reflect each other. They're the same. So I can not only have faith that it works for her, but this also gives me added confidence in what God has said to me because now, here this is, somebody that I had never met before, who I haven't walked through anything with, but yet profess the same thing that I've been professing. And look where she is. She's an apostle. She's a, she's a doctor. Here she is governing a, a ministry training facility, and I'm still trying to get, I'm still, you know, I'm still trying to take flight, but yet she has the exact same foundation. So I was like, oh my God, thank you that you just confirmed all the statements of faith that I've been declaring. So that made me want to declare even more. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord said. This is what I'm standing behind. Amen. So when I got in crisis, when I began to go through things, I can know that where I'm standing and the people that are around me that are girded up, that we have the same faith, we have the same belief, we have that. So I have that added power to know that what God has placed in me, that I can yet trust Him even when I can't trace Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you so much for your time and I pray that this has benefited you, that this takes you to your ministry next level. Amen. Amen. Amen.